if I had had some of this knowledge to start with, oh my goodness. Collaboration is happening. They're talking about kids. They're talking about common assessments. They're talking about student progress. When I see students having those successes, that has made my life better. The point of this initiative is let's teach kids at a very young level to learn how to read. Even though I might be bigger, I still want to learn more things. The transformation has been amazing. So we're seeing um, tremendous growth in our scores. They came in with a research-based system and it brought all the intangibles of effective practice, best practice together for teachers in a very uh, coherent way. We've been able to work with an amazing team of external coaches in the state of Connecticut along with the amazing internal coaches in these pilot schools. To uh, provide support to teams from schools around Connecticut uh, to really help them learn how to implement effective practices and literacy to meet the needs of all kids. It's all those forces coming together Commission on Children, Health for Literacy, the state legislature, the Black and Puerto Rican Caucus, the University of Connecticut, Literacy How, the State Department of Education. We're starting to see predictably positive trends in achievement over time. Kids are happy, teachers are happy, and we're moving in the right direction. It's, it's terrific. This feels like an investment that goes beyond the kind of surface type initiatives that we've seen in the past that sound great in name and have really great intentions, but maybe don't go deep enough to really allow for meaningful change. This training was different because it was actual, it was our teachers who were actually giving the professional development, saying I tried this in my classroom, and wow, it really does work, and here's the way I implemented it. And it's fostered collaboration between the classroom teachers, between the literacy support, between the assessments that they're both administering and sharing, and it's building the wealth of knowledge that we have about our students. What this project provided was a lot of alignment, a lot of resources to take it to the next level, to really critically look at what we have, to critically look at where we need to go and what pieces will help us get us there. I knew I wouldn't have to be running around pulling books from here, pulling lessons from here. You know, I was able to find it all in one spot and really know that it was a well-researched, well-designed program that I could trust, that I knew I was giving my kids everything that they needed. It's not just, oh, here is the program, this is going to fix things. It really is the, the data-driven decision-making model that is the umbrella for CK3LI. When I was looking at my report card material, my average change for my students was somewhere between 50 and 70 points. Each of them had increased in our STAR assessment, which is... I mean, when I say like night and day from the beginning of the year to the middle of the year, and it's not even the end of the year. I had about like half of my class in the green, and they took it in the winter again. They took the star data in the winter again. I had every single child except for one in the green, which is on level, which I have not seen in the past three years. Our kindergartners are 77% proficient. And that, when you think of the RTI triangle, and everybody says our triangle is inverted, it's upside down because more of our children are struggling rather than succeeding we put the triangle right side up. The one thing that, that I do get some complaints about are for my upper grade teachers who haven't yet seen the, the fruits of our labor at the younger grades. They said, well guys, you know what? In, in two or three years, those kids that we're working for in K1 and 2 will be your students. So you won't have to deal with that large number of non-proficient readers. I just want to thank them for the support. It's had long-lasting effects in when they have developed these strong foundational skills. I'd like to say thank you very much. We owe it to our kids and we owe it to our staff. How do we support them? Because our kids are the most important thing that we have. Beauty, fire trucks, planes, helicopters. Police Whatever cars, we can everything. find that we like, we we'll read. We read everything. We're appreciative that uh, the leadership of the state supports initiatives like this and that they have the foresight to see that this is the only way to make Connecticut a successful state is if we start producing literate uh, students that are college and career ready. I'm going to be a librarian when I um, grow up because that's why I like reading a lot. And I get to tell stories like when the kids go to the library. 
I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for providing us with the resources and the training that allow us to meet every child's needs. Thank you to CK3LI for being in Norris. We really love having you. Thank you to the state for continually funding because it's a scary thought thinking all these fabulous interventionists are ever going to leave us. It's a team-wide comprehensive effort to make this happen and on behalf of the children and on behalf of the staff I can't thank them enough. You should be reading more because because reading is lots of fun and you can learn more and you could like you could do lots of stuff from the book improvements are being made every single day and I appreciate having these programs. It makes my life as a teacher easier. I feel better. I feel like I'm doing the right things here. You know, it makes me feel more confident. So I really do appreciate all of that. So thank you. <laughs> I just want to say thank you very much for, for investing in the kids. The kids are our future and specifically uh, investing in the teachers in the building and providing them with multiple opportunities to work together to help children succeed. Thank you. Reading is fun. You, reading can actually not keep you boring. It's actually a fun subject to do. I'd like to thank them from the kids' perspective as well because I think they have no idea how good they have it to have this program in our school. It's just, it's changed everything for them. We could never thank them enough because I don't think that we're able to show what their impact is, but the children are how we show that. Thank you for teaching me to read. Last year it would be, could I come in at lunchtime and eat with you? But now they want to come in at lunchtime and read with me. They want to share, they want to show off, and they're just really proud of themselves. Thank you.